my baby? Are you feeling anxious? Are you stressed out? Me too, Momo, I feel you. Hi guys! Luna is doing the intro today. She's thrilled. We are talking about Momo. Surprise, surprise. Momo has been giving us issues because a couple of weeks ago, weeks ago, he developed FIC, which is feline something cystitis. We'll add the middle word in post because I cannot remember it. But it's basically a inflammation of the urinary tract, usually due, due to stress, which is ironic because I don't know what Momo has to be stressed about since he is living the little life of a little prince. But anywho, so he got sick, he started straining while peeing, so we thought it was a UTI and we brought him in, but his bladder tests and so on came, urine tests came back clear. So the vet decided that it was most probably a cystitis. So we were given fancy food and anti-inflammatories and painkillers and he was very miserable for the first 48 hours because I think the combination of all of his medications made him super high. There's no better way of saying it. He was literally like drunk. Like you could push his back end and he would just like flop. And so we took him for, we had to take him for a checkup because he's been doing better. But obviously it's something that can flare up and so on. So we just wanted to have him checked out and he isn't eating the prescription food. So that was the other reason why we wanted to have another chat with the vet. So we took him to the vet and we will cut to that footage now. As you can hear, Alice is screaming in the background as best she can. I'm on my way to the vet again. Um, we're having some issues with Momo at the moment. So he's at the bottom for his, he's going for a checkup. And then this morning we then had the lovely surprise that Alice uh, was sounding super, super hoarse. Um, like she has a sore throat or something. Like this is not, if you can hear it in the background, that's not her normal voice. So I thought since I'm going anyways, I might as well let her tag along. And hopefully she's not stressing him out too much by mewing incessantly. And yeah, so let's see what the vet says. And we will... You're going to hurt yourself, sweetie. Stop. You can't get out. In the consultation room. Moped is ready for his follow-up. Alice is moping in the corner. All right, we are back in the car. Let's start with Alice. Alice has a viral infection, um, but because she's eating well and everything is looking A-OK -okay otherwise, um, she just got an anti-inflammatory injection and they're sending us home and she must have wet food um, for the couple of, for a couple of days and we must just keep an eye on her if she shows any other symptoms so if she stops eating or she's starting to act out of the norm then we need to bring her back um, because then it means that the throat is so inflamed that she may need a little bit of extra help um, feeding and so on so that she doesn't lose weight um, so that's Alice it's all not too bad and hopefully she will recover on her own. The vet also said that for her age, she's 15, um, she's looking very, very good. And Mr. Momo basically just had a flare-up. So we did get him some anti-inflammatory injection as well, just to help him along. But um, basically with cystitis, it's something that can flare up and that can come back. So the key is to get him onto one of these foods um, that helps. So we now switch to a different brand that's apparently more palatable. It's not quite as good, apparently, as the Hills one. It has a little bit less medication in it. But that's what we're going to try, because hopefully he'll eat that. And if he refuses that one, then we will need to um, put him on a supplement. So there is still a third option that's basically like a medicine that we can put on his food or just put him directly down the, the gullet. Um, so that'll be option three if he refuses the food. But she'd prefer if he ate this food then. So we're going to try that. Um, and then otherwise we need to keep him on the calming collars. She said that's a really good idea um, because cystitis is usually stress related. Um, and that's it. So we're going to order him a new collar because this one only has a week left in it. And then we'll take it one day at a time. And if anyone shows 
other symptoms that we worry about then we must bring them back but for now it's basically just a waiting game to see if they get worse or not so that's that i'm gonna get them home get them settled because they're both very very unhappy now and we'll take it from there Luna coming back to do the conclusion Luna what happened we came back Everybody was released, everybody sulked for a very long time. And then everybody went to sleep and Momo is looking much better today. Alice is still eating. I haven't heard her mew yet today, so I don't know how she's feeling. We'll see how she does. And Lulu is very cute. And we will basically keep an eye on everybody. And then we will see if they need to go back to the vet. Yes. Or if everybody's going to be healthy and happy like Luna is right now. Thrilled as you can see. Say goodbye Luna, goodbye. Remember to like, subscribe, all the buttons down here, click all of them, except the dislike one. <laughs> if you're gonna dislike it, go away. <laughs> click all the buttons, <laughs> leave a comment, share with your friends, and if you have any things you want us to address with regards to cat health, cat lifestyle, all things cats. Leave us a comment and we'll look into it. Bye! We have created a clingy monster. A clingy monster. You won't stop booping me? And purring? It's all very intense. Tell the people how you feel. Tell them how I am a terrible, terrible mom for taking you to the vet. And somebody should definitely call pet services to come and fetch you. Whoop. Just bam. Bam. How do I tell him that I need to go get some wet food for his mom for tonight? Hmm? Can I go, Momo? I'd rather do it now than later when it's busy at the store. Because it's Friday, it's gonna get busy early, my angel. Can I drop you on the floor? Guess not. <laughs>